the whole idea of Meals on Reels, I thought was just a great idea. It, 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 when we tell people that that's the title, it's kind of punny, it's kind of humorous, and it lets people know that although we are uh, serious about what we're doing, that there's a little bit of humor in it, and um, more than anything else, I think the book is very clever. We uh, touch on a lot of different types of cuisine, uh, French, Japanese, Mexican, Italian, Italian and uh, cover a wide range of eras uh, as well. So we're, we're covering uh, from Victorian age up through the present. Of course, we're using modern day appliances, so everything can be done in your home kitchen. That's one of the things that we really wanted to put out about this book is that whatever we create, everything that we created, we didn't do it in an institutional kitchen, we did it in our home kitchen using, a, and it's a small kitchen. Uh, using everything that we have in our kitchen. Of course, we've had to stock the kitchen a little bit differently than we had before we started this book. There's lots of things that we didn't own before we had to start writing some of the recipes and recreating some of the recipes that are in the meals. For instance, uh, I didn't have, uh, I never owned a Savaran mold before and I didn't even know what one was. But that's something that you make the baba o rum cake in from the movie Babette's Feast. And trying to find one of those uh, in local uh, market is not always easy. We did uh, prepare every meal from start to finish and we served it to our guests. And in many cases we had two dozen people uh, standing around helping us to test the food, test the recipes, and of course you know, provide feedback. Um, in most cases, it was good feedback, uh, and everyone enjoyed. Uh, it was good feedback in every case. People <laughs> just loved what we did. Really, I mean, it was really very, very good. We were uh, very, very pleased with ourselves and how well everything came out because we didn't test some of these recipes ten and twenty times. We tested them once. Uh, we wrote the recipes, and then we uh, set out to cook them. Uh, some of the dishes we prepared, people when we brought them out, I mean, they actually gasped with delight and surprise. People in Dinner Rush, a uh, film about a restaurant, uh, they speak through the entire day's specials on the menu. And so we know uh, pretty much what it is that they are serving. But not necessarily how to serve it. I mean, not how to prepare, or how, it. How to prepare it either. So. But in other cases, we had to look at the films very closely and zoom in and, and try to really uh, discern what it was that they were uh, serving at that point and, and then recreate uh, what that was. Some of the meals are really a lot to handle. Uh, when we were doing, uh, for instance, one, the movie Once Upon a Time when we were colored, we had to use every available cooking item that we had. We were using both ovens. We have an oven that uh, has a top oven and a bottom oven that can be used at different temperatures. We were using the top of the stove. We were using two grills outside, we were using a hot plate to cook the chicken so that it all be ready at the same time and actually edible uh, without getting cold. Uh, all these things can be done though in a home kitchen. Nothing, we didn't, we didn't send anything out or bring anything in that uh, was not something that we cooked. And so everything that we were writing was also trying to be, uh, we were trying to be educators also and show people how to cook things that they may never have thought about cooking before and that they are really accessible and just delicious. People are surprised that there are two men who are writing a cookbook and uh, we are out there to show that um, anybody can cook uh, what we do. That's one of the things that we are trying to show. Male, female, young people, older people, you don't have to have a culinary background in order to understand this book, appreciate it, and also cook the meals in it. The one that I really like very, very much, especially as far as presentation is concerned, was uh, the whole uh, portion of like water for chocolate when we brought out the quail with those beautiful rose petals. That was just stunning and very, very, very tasty. And also, uh, if you remember the uh, part from Chocolat where we made the chocolate that had the the red pepper in it. It was oh, really, hot it, yeah, yeah, hot chocolate with the, with the red pepper in it. Something you'd never think, or at least I never thought of, of doing, putting together. And that was one of the, the, the meals where people just went, oh my God, this is just every bit of it. Everything was laced with chocolate. So if you like chocolate, you're gonna love that particular meal. One of the things we hope people will get from this book is uh, 
It's good to be creative, it's good to be brave, it's good to go out there and try things you haven't tried before. Good morning, say that again.